All right, let's go. Today I have a walkthrough. This is the Maypole Cottage. It's uh, one of my favorite builds, and you'll see why. But let's just first take a walk around. We have a little artisan table outside. I'm a big fan of the artisan table. There is a mod called Odin Flight, which I love. Uh, that mod killed me so much, and it was such a great time. And you need the artisan table to repair the Odin's wings. It's a, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, if you like mods, highly recommend checking it out. So, hence, uh, you'll see artisan tables in most of my builds. The little side door there. Actually, this is the back door. My apologies. And the cellar. A little structure here. A side door and a maypole. And this is the maypole that actually spawned in the world, so this place is built around it. Let's go to the front entrance. Right here. We'll go inside in just a moment. And we also have a crafting area. So that was just a quick walk around. And now let's slow things down and take a closer look. Let's go back the other way. Uh, this crafting area is mostly for looks. The person who lives a little black spike there. The person who lives here uh, is a blacksmith and also makes the best mead in all of Alheim, according to the lore of this world. In here, you'll see uh, this is where some of the shields are made and painted. This structure here, as you can see, is storing wood. We're in a mountain biome, so wood is going to be very important. Anybody ever go camping probably knows that this is, may not be enough wood. Um, but here we have a, a wood storage here. Again, the front door, but I'm actually going to call your attention over here to the swing. If you saw my rain damage video, uh, you know that I'm a big fan of protecting uh, items from rain damage. And if you look up at the top there, you'll see that there is an angled piece protecting these pieces here, so this won't take any damage in the rain. Uh, this is technically still a meadow, so it's, it may rain here. Um, here we have some bushes made by vines. I use plant anything mod to get these vines in. If you download the V build, these vines will not be here, nor will the vines over here. So if you really want the vines, you'll need to find some way to uh, put them in. I use the plant anything mod. Let's set up these stairs here. As I said, the person who lives here, they make the best mead in all of Valheim. And the reason for it, uh, they have the best barrels and also they have special bees that uh, you know, like the snow. Technically, this is the meadow, so even though there is snow on the ground, these bees are all happy. So Now, this video is going to really cover two different things. Number one, the V build, but also uh, if you decide to download the world, once I upload the world, or update the world, I should say, um, you'll see all of this. Now, the V build is only going to come with a structure here and this platform. Um, and I think also possibly this structure here. So it's going to be a kind of large build. You know, it's and it's all important for the build. I'll show you why later. However, I do not think I'll upload it with a fence. Maybe I'll do too. But this area is pretty unique here. So unless you want to go through the hassle of terraforming exactly like this, I I don't see a reason to upload it with the stairs as well. Okay. Um. So I think that covers everything outside let's head on inside all right so good amount of storage in here not a lot but it's a good amount of storage in here um, we have a fully upgraded kitchen area and any of the builds if you up if you download the world if any of the builds you see blue mushrooms I leave those as an indicator to let you know there's a secret in that area so we'll check that out later now something else I would like to call out. Let's take a look at the portals next. Each of the portals of this world are labeled, quote unquote labeled, uh, with just different symbols. Uh, it, they kind of tell you whose place you're going to, but it's also crystal clear. So this tells me immediately this is the uh, storehouse. And looking up here, I can see that this is the island farm. Here we have Eichther's Overlook. We have the Guild Retreat. The Shipyard. Six Shields Hall and the Converted Monastery. This is Maypole Cottage, and so I think right about now I'll flash an image of what the Maypole Cottage portal looks like. So if you go to any of the builds, and if you want to return to say Eichther's Overlook, for example, uh, just look for this uh, portal with the with Eichther's trophy and the black banner. It'll take you right to Eichther's Overlook. So a little something there. So yes, this is the portal area. Let's go back down really quickly 
to see the special mead barrels this, you know, this, uh, the owner has. You know, this is the poison resist, fire, tasty, and frost. And as you see, they're kind of decorated, and this is a little bit frosty. Uh, this one is actually half damaged, so it's an aged barrel. Uh, unfortunately, right now, barrels that are damaged do not look it, but hopefully with an update, you'll see that this one's half damaged, so it's an aged barrel. You know, just having fun. And then also, uh, medium resist, uh, I'm sorry, not resist, medium health and medium, medium health and medium stamina potions here made by these special barrels. So that's really all that's happening here. Let's head on upstairs. We have more storage off to the side here. Now this place was built before the Hearth and Home update and I just kind of went back and made a few changes after the Hearth and Home update, but I didn't want to change it too much. I was happy with it and I didn't really see a need to like update everything. Um, here is the bedroom of the second shield. A little, little skin rug there and as you can see, the, uh, there's a good amount of lore here. You'll, if you walk around the world, you'll get to know each character, what they like their mead, the meads that they like, you know, the things that they like to do, and I'll just, I'll kind of leave that for you to discover. Heading upstairs, a little hangout area here, and a small door. Now, this design came from a game, I don't know how to pronounce it, I think it's called Anon or Anno uh, 1400 or something like that, and I just got a whole bunch of pictures from that, I just really liked them, and I just started building a whole bunch of things that were from that video game actually and uh, there was actually two chimneys here I was only really able to fit one but this chimney stack is obviously a blast furnace and you can use a blast furnace if you like it'll drop down there um, but I, I wouldn't really recommend using this unless you were in a bind this build actually in the cellar has two blast furnace two kilns and two smelters we'll go take a look at that next there's also that one right down there that uh, kiln down there let's uh, head downstairs oh you know what? let's just hop on down I would like to call out, if you saw my protecting uh, items from rain, uh, can I break it? I'm not going to break it down, but there is a stone here, so these will also not take damage in the rain. Not even this one up here. You can kind of sneak a look under there. You see that's actually a 2 by one stone, and I just have a part of it covered up there, so it looks like a one by one box. Um, but yeah, so none of this will take damage. Um, you'll see that this shield here is on an angle. I did use that rotate mod. And I will use it from time to time, but I, I don't think I'll ever use it on build pieces. If I ever change the angle of something, it'll just probably be on item stands and perhaps even vines. Um, just to, I'm not trying to build higher or do anything super fancy uh, right now anyway. I, I might change my mind. Uh, but you will see um, a few things just tilted. I uninstall the mod and it still works, so you do not need to mod to see these tilted items here. So, Alright, so... Let's go take a look downstairs at the actual blacksmith's area where you'll be doing most of the crafting. Again, I could have, I guess, angled the door here, but I'm just weird. I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I don't want to angle doors. <laughs> Alright, so um, and not unless the game opens it up. I hope they do, but if they don't, oh well. Um, but as, as you can see, two blast furnace two smelters and two kilns. Um, I had to rebuild this. Um, it may, if you downloaded it, the world already, you'll see that this is different. Uh, with the update, the smoke would put out the blast furnace, so I had to change things around a little bit. So a little bit different, and it all still works. So good stuff there. And crafting, most things are hidden under, under the floor here, but it's, it's fully upgraded crafting in both parts, as well as the spinning wheel here. So all your crafting needs can be met here. Now, all the builds are made for groups, more than just one, but we only saw one bed. Let's see if we can find the rest of the bedrooms here. And I'm sure you can guess where we're going. Right down into the secret area. I tend to, I tend to zoom in and just look down. Um, here is the, one of the exits. We'll check that out in a second. A little area here. I didn't do a ton of decorating here. It's really just a hallway, really. Um, I didn't want to close it off. Leave the space open. This area here, this, uh, you know, this, this where they have like an enemy buried. The reason why I put this here is, uh, let's look through. We see the stairs, and because of the stairs and that angle piece, it is possible to kind of get stuck on this angle piece here. So instead of people getting confused, not understanding why they can't move, I decided to just kind of decorate here so you just know to automatically walk around that area. So if you want to tear that down, go for it. Um, just realize that 
people might get stuck, like here and I think at the other edge, right here, where the, where the stairs are coming down. Right, let's, let's see, yep, so the bedrooms are over here, but we'll take a look at those in a second. Let's take a look at this exit to see how we get out, which is right down here. We drop down, which will bring us right into the basement, and just kind of walk through the flag there. I guess it's possible to get up in that way, but, you know, yeah, I guess, if you maybe figure it out. Alright, so we're going to go back into the secret area, but we're going to get there a different way. And I might have to put on my HUD for this. Um, we'll see. And that brings me to why I'm going to also upload this building with the same V build. So we are going to go into the secret entrance here. And there's a secret entrance right here. You're looking at it. You're looking at oh, it. It's kind of hard to see. But there's a secret entrance right there. I'll give you a second. Do you see it? All right, let's see if we can find it. Again, I might have to put on my HUD. Come on, come on. Yeah, I might have to put on my HUD there. All right. All right, right here. So that's the other secret entrance. It's, it looks like stone, but it's actually the stone throne. And we have the exit right here. Feel free to break down these lights. I just wanted to light it up so everybody can see. Uh, once you know how to get in and out, I don't think these lights will be needed. Here's the exit. Just have a seat and then walk forward. Let's uh, get back inside. The angle, you have, to, you have to get kind of close, find the right angle, and then there you are. Hello. All right, so let's uh, head back down. We can go downstairs, but we're going to just come back up here so we can get our bearings. So there is the little treasure area. And here are the bedrooms for the other shields. Here's a bedroom for the first shield bedroom for the third and fifth shield and we can either go down the stairs here or as you can see just kind of fall off and go down the stairs here we can see the bedroom for the sixth shield and then finally the bedroom for the fourth shield so plenty of bedroom space and a little hangout area down here let's head back upstairs we have a bathroom over here to the right or I guess it's a uh, hot tub and I wanted to make it subtle I didn't want it to be too big so boom yeah <laughs> just kidding yeah so quite bright um, not max comfort but still here we go I think we just need a hearth uh, a hearth I should say to get max comfort I think that's what we're missing we're probably getting fire from the brazier yeah that's it well, all right everybody that was my little showcase and walkthrough for the Maypole Cottage. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And until next time, take it easy.